Well, how often have you woken up and remembered a dream, only to wonder what that dream might mean? I do that all the time. I try to figure it out. Some people believe dreams can offer glimpses into our deepest desires, maybe our fears or aspirations. Other think it's just like mean meaningless, <laughs> just a bunch of gunk. I don't know. Dr. George is here with some of the science behind this. I think this is so intriguing. Well, it really is, Karen and Damon. I mean, it's a fascinating thing. Here's the thing. The fact is everyone dreams. In fact, we actually dream several times a night when we enter REM sleep. Now, there's no proof that dreams serve any specific purpose, and maybe that's what makes them so interesting. It's basically an uncharted frontier of our subconscious mind. Nonetheless, there is actually plenty of sound theory suggesting the dreams do actually have a purpose. The dreams don't bother telling you something you already know, you know, so it, it's telling you something that you're not aware of and it's important to like honor that. Dr. Greg Mars, a Henry Ford health psychiatrist who works with the Sleep Research Program at Henry Ford. He's also the co-author of a book called The Wisdom of Dreams, Science, Synchronicity, and the Language of the Soul. And from an evolutionary perspective, um, they're clearly important because we dev devote a lot of um, physical energy and emotional energy and expose ourselves to risks by dreaming because we're paralyzed when we dream. So I think the question is, what can we learn from our dreams? Because it seems like they must be important. One theory is that dreams are tied to our memory. Emotional processing of memories in a way of linking emotions and memories and emotions with our daily experiences. That's probably what we get from dreams. When you wake up, dreams can linger in your mind. Here's why. For physiological reasons, our dream sleep stages become much longer as the night goes on. So we tend to recall the last dreams before we wake up. One, because we wake up and two, because there was a long REM phase. Unfortunately, most people don't hold on to their dreams. They're hard to remember because they operate by a different kind of logic and weird things happen that don't make sense to our, our waking minds. You'll find that it's very hard to remember your dreams, especially once you're sort of into the waking world. And that's a shame because... You can get a lot from dreams. You can get a lot of insight into your own experiences and feelings for one thing. There's reasonably good evidence that you can get creative ideas from dreams and we may process information and problems and solve problems through our dream. Famous examples of creativity from dreams include Paul McCartney waking up with the melody for yesterday, the theme for the book Frankenstein, the idea for the Twilight Saga, and even scientific concepts like the structure of DNA and the layout of the periodic table. Which raises a question, what if we could use or manipulate our dreams for extra insight? Lucid dreaming means being conscious that you're dreaming during the dream and there's a spectrum from just being aware to like the fully lucid dream where you actually have control of what's going on in the dream. In fact, Dr. Marr suggests it's possible to train yourself to lucid dream. Some of the essential elements are one like teaching yourself to reality check like when you're in your waking world just to kind of stop yourself every once in a while. Um, and say, oh, is this real or is this a dream? Because that teaches you to do that in a dream. During a dream, you can also kind of, there's a lot of literature about checking in the dream if you're dreaming, like checking if the light switches work because they don't work in dreams. And I have also heard a lot of people using lucid dreaming thoughtfully and like using it to ask dream figures, the right kinds of questions, like why are you here? What message do you have for me? Now, as you can tell, I could actually talk to Dr. Mayer for hours about this. And in fact, he's going to be live on Local 4 Plus tomorrow during the 7 a.m. show to explain more of the wisdom that we can acquire from our dreams and how to increase the odds of actually you remembering your dreams. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. I always try to do that, but I think I yeah. fail at it. Well, okay, so what about if you have a dream about an injury or an illness? Does that add any more credibility or should you think about it more? Or 
yeah, decipher well, it? Well, you know, that is kind of an interesting thing because, of course, if you have recurrent dreams about pain or a physical ailment, it's not always a sign of a medical problem. But there are times that your dreams may actually just be just kind of reminding you of a physical problem that you're either avoiding or maybe in denial about. But in some cases, your body may actually be indicating something that you are not even aware of on a conscious level. So, for example, you have recurrent dreams about belly pain. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have belly pain that you've been ignoring, and that might be an indication to think about it more on a conscious level. I can't get over that we're paralyzed when we're when we're dreaming. Except for your eyes, rapid eye movement. That's but that's crazy. all. Did you you didn't know this? No, I'll probably never sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sleeping tonight. I can tell oh, you yeah, that. I can't move. That's really cool. That's A good scary. story. Thanks, Thanks Doc. Yeah, it's really interesting.